Hi guys, welcome, and today I'm going to be talking about a cute bear. Oh, I'm still eating. Just let me be for a second. What did I just say? What's up guys? I'm sorry about that gun. Kinda. I I'm not sorry. You were, you were asking for it. I mean, like, I'm, I'm eating, and if I'm eating... Don't just look at me and expect me to start off a freaking video, people. So next time, next time, I'm going to shoot your face off, okay? Because I'm a thug. I just, you know, I just realized that yesterday. Like, oh, wait, I'm black, so I'm supposed to be a thug. Uh, but, uh, later today, I'm going out, and I'm just going to smack a police officer. Oh, that's my nice way of smacking. <laughs> that's my way of smacking. I'm gonna. Eh. No, no, no. Never did. Never will. I'm just gonna punch her right where it hurts the most. On a sticker. At least that's what Bugs Bunny taught me. Anyways, guys. Yeah, you were asking for that gun. Let's go to the video. Today I'm going to talk about the complete 180 I did with my workouts. I used to do body splits. I don't even want to go into details why I did that from the, from the start. Um, I always uh, knew that full body workouts were better, or at least they were scientifically proven. Um, splits, then again, not really. Um... The first person that introduced me to full body workouts was Mr. Mike Menzner. If you are sadly unaware of his work, email me to this address. Just be like, yo, Jesse, give me Mike's book. And I will send you Mike's heavy duty book. <gasps> How much do you ask me? Uh, five bucks? No, not really. It's all free, guys. It's all free. For now. It's free. For now, don't worry, you're not going to be in some mailing list, based mainly because I don't have any products to sell yet. But I do have a surface, so if you are interested in a full body workout which fits your needs and goals, you can also email me and we can talk about it and I can give you a price on what it's going to be. Today I'm going to talk about how I came to the exercises that I'm using right now, how many times a week I'm working out and how long it takes. First things first, I will only work out three times a week, which is amazing because I used to work out four or five times a week. My sessions are now just 30 minutes each, which is whew, an improvement to uh, with delts, which was something I would do slow pace, going for very good form. I would do two hours. So going to 30 minutes, so I'm completely week just is one and a half hour is amazing because now I have a lot of energy afterwards I always felt like I need to go till I can't go no more but guess what your private life really uh, gets affected by that you know you can't just be a couch potato how can you be like an athlete in a gym and then come home and be like oh no I'm way too tired or you just you know only thing you do is work out and work and work out that's not Nah, that's not balance. At least I have had it for the next three, uh, for the past three years. It's not interesting, not at all. So getting uh, more time, uh, more free time, is amazing. That and my body doesn't have to spend any energy afterwards to repair the immense damage that I've created on it. So it can actually almost immediately go into the muscle building thing that I do. So Mike, I'm doing it Mike Mansna style, which is going for one set. Um, I have, like I said, three days. I do have kind of fixed days, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I say kind of fixed because it all depends on soreness if I am or am not going to work out that day. Soreness will also uh, also uh, decide whether or not I'm going up in sets or weights. How I do that, I will do right now, live, you guys. So I am going through what I did last yesterday, and I'm going to write if it's NS, BS, or KS. BS is not for bullshit. Okay? 
it's not for boob <laughs> no it's for barely sore so the, the top one is not sore barely sore kind of sore uh, not sore I really have to check it in uh, we really have to look at what the F I did wrong barely uh, sore maybe I just need an extra set or I need to change my form uh, kind of sore um, I will I think first go for uh, my form needs to improve <clears throat> and next time if I am just barely sore because of the my form check I will go for an extra set so now I'm just going to feel a uh, ooh, ooh, yeah my back check chest mm. not ha ah. ha ah. okay ha ah. okay got it there but it's more like my ha ah. in touch it's a <laughs> attachment in my front delt but it's also because I like to do uh, incline so you're going to do a lot of front delts with those but isn't it? it's not really ow ow okay okay Ooh, as I go into the middle it does hurt but I need to say that this is kind of sore it's going to work on my form next time so for it Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for the rear delts. Oh, I can even see them through my shirt. <laughs> yes, I can always see that I did two sets, so I'm going back to verify that yes, indeed, I wrote down NS, not sore. So the other time, uh, what I decided at that moment is to do two sets, and I must say, doing two sets is perfect. So I'm just going to give it a little P. It's perfect. Um, triceps, uh, uh, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Ca calves, yeah, kinda, kinda sore. Next time, do two sets. So that's how I do it, guys. Decided. So later, I'm going to check it in, and I'm going to write down the weights. For next time, so that's how I do it. That's how soreness will help decide how many sets uh, I'm going to do, or if I'm going to uh, add a set or add in weights. If I'm at 12 reps in workout at all, I need to go up in weights, people. Okay. Um, so the body parts that I have picked for this full body workout, you can see here, is leg. Legs, back, chest, delts, tricep, calves, and I will I will work them out in that order. If you're wondering where the frick is biceps, um, you must be new. Hi, I'm Jesse. I have enormous biceps without doing anything for them. I didn't really used to have big biceps just from the moment that I just uh, start uh, working them out. They just got huge, and to be fair, I haven't really been hitting them for a year or so, but they're still pretty big. So that's why I'm not hitting them. Um, they will uh, they will get hit a little bit when I'm doing back. So what I did is I picked out three exercises for a body part that I got here. And went for exercises that I not necessarily find the most favorite ones. Three exercises <coughs> that I know I need. So when it comes to legs, I am doing two for the hams and the booty. One for the quads. My quads are okay. Never. They're okay. Um, I just feel like the hams just need to be uh, bigger to fit my quads um, for the back, chest, whatever. So I got three exercises that I need when it comes to delt. But just at, for example, I'll do sides and two rear delt kind of workouts. So I'll have three days: one, two, three. I have three schedules or three workouts that I do and one is the easiest three is the hardest and as you can see I wrote down Monday Wednesday Friday and so on Friday I will have two days of off and here in between I'll just have one day off so let me just go like one one two so that's why on Friday I will have the hardest workout because afterwards I will have two days rest and because I have two days rest, on Monday I'm going to start out with number two. Like I said, 
one is the hard, uh, least hardest, three is the hardest. So one of them I'm going to do number two. Basically because I have been resting for two days, I know for sure I can do the middle one on Monday. Then I have one day rest, which doesn't matter because on Wednesday I am going to do the easiest one. Going back to Friday, so I only have one day of rest, but it doesn't matter because that was a pussy workout. Okay, so that's the way I have it. So let me see guys. I explain the full bodies. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are interested in having a full body workout which fits your needs and goals, let me know in the comments below or just email me to this email address address. I hope I have been quite clear. I hope I haven't missed anything. Um if you want me to come back to the subject or explain something more, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you in a video. That's just the way I do. Okay guys, um, I am still looking for two human billboards. So someone who is already into being uh, fit or maybe someone who is beginning and really needs to lose some weight to begin with. Um, you can't be already sexy body. I'm sorry. There are a lot of people out there going like, ah, oh, I want to be your billboard. Yeah, but you already look fabulous. I don't need people that look amazing already with all due respect, um, to become a billboard. I actually just want someone to be quite fuller so I can help you make an um, enormous transformation. Look, it's a win-win situation. You will get the body that you deserve, deserve. And I will have a very beautiful before and after which has been done uh, with my techniques. Something, uh, it's both social proof for me, it's it's with this picture it will make it easy it it will be easier for me to get more customers um besides that if you are a human billboard and you sell a uh, workout by the way the workouts you sell being a person uh, being a billboard are are 35 pops and 5 pops of those go to you is it a lot no but just see it like that. You're getting a free coach. You're getting the body that you deserve. And you're getting five bucks for every person that asks you, where do you get that workout from? Okay? So that's a triple win situation while I only get one win for myself. Anyways, guys, this is my video. Let me know if you want to be a human billboard or if I should, like, explain it somewhat more. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I was clear enough for you guys. You know that English isn't my first or second language. If we uh, no, want to go that way. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, more tips and tricks just like this. Um, and for the ones out there saying like, you need to carry someone overhead, blah, 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 blah. Just shut the F up, please, people. I'm trying to become a seri serious personal trainer. And you being, you know, no, asking me to lift people up is not helping me. I mean, like, where are the other videos of me lifting people up? They're not here. So why? Ask. It's very simple. Boo! <laughs> I'm just joking around. But no, don't, don't, don't ask me to lift people. That's just weird. Or ask me to lift a car. Can you lift the car? Can you? Why should I lift the car? Is your mom in trouble somewhere? <gasps> oh no, she didn't. Okay, okay, just for that, I'll shoot myself in the foot. Okay, there goes. Oh! Thank you guys. See you guys next time. Bye bye.